time was due to go to their brother, so we'll have the uh, next question from the front mic. Good evening, Dr. Nayak. Uh, this is Sanjay Thakkar here. Um, first of all, with all due respect to all my Muslim brothers and sisters here, I'll just rest with two questions. My first question to you, Doctor, is, uh, you know, Islam and, and the Quran condemns idol worship. Yet, in the Kaaba, people... Now, you had mentioned that one of the 20 misconceptions, first 13 that you had covered, I wasn't here at that time, so no I problem. missed it. So that's my first question. My second question to you is, you know, the concept of um, Azan. You know, from what I understand, the concept of Azan came many, many decades or centuries back when there was no clock, there was no, uh, you know, way to actually decide what time of the day it is. And, and the only way people would realize that it's this time of the day for this prayer was based on Azan. Now, obviously, that's not the case now. You know, <laughs> we have clocks and we have... So then why is there Azan five times a day even in this day and age? These are my two questions. Brother asked two questions. The first question the brother asked is, which he said it comes in the first 13. It was the 11th most common question or misconception in the mind of the non-Muslim right. that if Islam is against idol worship, why do you bow down to the Kaaba when you offer Salah? No Muslim ever worships the Kaaba when you offer Salah. Kaaba is the Qibla. It is a direction. We Muslims, we believe in unity. Now, when we offer salah, suppose you want to offer salah here. Some will say, let's face north. Some will say south. Some will say east. Some will say west. For unity, Allah says in the Quran, Surah Baqarah, that wherever you are, face towards the Kaaba. So Kaaba is the Qibla, it is the direction. So we are facing in that direction, but no one worships the Kaaba. You know, previously, the Muslims were the first people to do the world map. And Al Idrusi, in 1954, he drew the world map. North Pole down, South Pole was on top. And Kaaba was in the center. The Western cartographers came and they turned the map upside down. North Pole top, South Pole down. Yet the Kaaba is in the center. So if you are in the north, you face towards the south. If you are in the south, you face towards the north. If you are in the east, you face towards the west. If in the west, you face towards the east. Kaaba is at the center. center. So we pray that as a Qibla, as a direction. No one worships it. Further, when we go for Umrah, or for pilgrimage, or for Hajj, we circumambulate around the Kaaba. You may ask that, why do you circumambulate around the Kaaba? Why do you circle around the Kaaba? I do it because of the command from Almighty God and the Prophet. But the logical reason I can think is, because every circle has only one center. So when we circumambulate around the Kaaba, logically I think, we are testifying this one God. Furthermore, if yet you have doubts, if you read the hadith that's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 2, in the book of Hajj, chapter 56, hadith number 675, Hadith Umar, may Allah be with him, near the second caliph of Islam, second khalifa. He said that this black stone pointing at the Hajj Aswat, black stone, it can neither benefit me, it can neither harm me. Just because my prophet kissed it, I'm kissing it. This statement that this black stone can neither harm anyone, nor benefit anyone, is sufficient to prove that the Muslims don't worship the Kaaba. Furthermore, at the time of the Prophet, there were Sahabas, there were companions of the Prophet who stood on the Kaaba and gave the Azan. No idol worshipper will ever stand on the Kaaba and give the Azan. Proving that no Muslim ever worshiped the Kaaba, it's only the Qibla, it's a direction. Coming to a second question. Hope you're convinced with the first question. Sure am. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. 50% I won you over. Now next 50%. Your second question was, decades earlier, centuries earlier, there was no clock, no way to keep time. So we could justify that giving Azan was right. Now everything is there, clock is there, time is there. So why do we have to give the Azan? Very good question. See, the reason we give the Azan is for many things. One thing is to tell everyone it is time. You tell me one thing. Everyone has the watch during examination. Yet the teacher rings the bell, time is up. So you tell the school teacher, why are you ringing the bell that the period is up? Everyone has a watch. To tell everyone, finish, time is up, next period. 
so today when we have the azan you can have a big clock also or you can have a big ghanta a big bell but a prophet said bell is not good therefore in the in the christian you have bell some religion you have the drum the prophet said no this is not good no drum no bell someone suggested human voice he liked it so in better than the drum or the we have called human voice and our azan has a message the bell sometimes the bell in the school has a message period is up sometimes the bell has a message period is starting sometimes the bell has a message different message that fire alarm run away you understand no? bell cannot speak you read the bell okay fire is there run away in the azan it has a message it says allah akbar allah akbar allah is the greatest god is the greatest four times allah akbar allah akbar it is a message ashhadu la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadar rasulullah that i bear witness there is no god but allah he is calling out i bear witness there is no god but allah and prophet muhammad is the messenger of allah hail salah hail salah come to salah come to salah hail al falah hail al falah come to success come to success he is giving a message god is the greatest god is the greatest god is the greatest god is the greatest four times there is no god but allah and prophet muhammad is giving you a message that your messenger is own prophet muhammad you don't have to worship him he is only a messenger he is the servant of god five times we are reminded in the azan prophet muhammad is the messenger of allah he is not allah come to prayers come to prayers come to success come to success allah akbar allah akbar allah is the greatest allah is the greatest so it's a message telling you it is time for prayer at the same time testifying there's one god it is a message and the beauty of it is that wherever part of the world you go it's only in arabic if you have in french if you go to france you don't understand Fran french you say what is the person shouting is he abusing me <laughs> so throughout the world you have in arabic even if i don't know arabic at least i know the translation of the azan so it is a reminder in the morning salah another reminder it says as salatu khairum minan nawm prayer is better than sleep as salatu khairum minan nawm prayer is now when you hear Ah, prayer is better than sleep, so you get up. With the ghanta, I put the snooze on. You know snooze? Another ten minutes. Another snooze, ten minutes. Here, as salatu khairum minan nawm. Only for the mornings azan. Prayer is better than sleep. So here it's a message. Even though you have watched, you don't keep on watching. So now, because we pray in congregation, our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, there are no less than three hadith in Sahih Bukhari. Which says that you get 25 times, 27 times more sawab when you pray in congregation. So the azan is reminding you that the congregation is going to start. So you know once the azan is given, within 20 minutes, the congregation will start. So you get ready, you do your wudu, you do your ablution, and you go to the mosque. If it is not there, and many a people don't know what is the time for, it keeps on changing, you know. I will not know what's the time for sunset today. Do you know, brother? Do you know the time for morning? Morning sunrise in Dubai? It changes every day. So what is it now? Not often, no. Most of the people here will have rough idea. So, though you are a scientific person, you have a watch. If the Adhan is there, ah, now it is time, I'll go for prayer. So, so even in the age of science and technology, it's a reminder. And besides the reminder, it's giving you a message. It's calling you towards the truth. It's calling you towards success. So that's the reason even 100 years, 1000 years back, it was correct. Even today, it is correct. And even tomorrow, it will be correct. Hope this convinces you. Thank you kindly. So Thank at you. least in these questions, I won you over. Yes, you have. Thank Inshallah. you. Inshallah. And I pray to God to guide you and to guide me also. Thank you.